Okay, you guys are fresh off the stage. Yes. And we have seen you each and every week, but now it's time to get a little personal. Okay, who is a morning person? Are you the type of person that needs to be dragged out of bed, or are you a, a late sleeper? I'm definitely not a morning person. Before I came here to LA, I would sleep in because I'm homeschooled, and I'd get up and do my work when I was ready. But now I'm on schedule, and I've been disciplined, and I hate waking up in the morning, but you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do. So, I'm not a morning person. <laughs> What time does the voice wake you up? Oh, man, sometimes we are up very, very early. I mean, we've had, you know, to be up before 5 in the morning several times and be on a van at 5.30 or whatever to go do our stuff. I had a scheduled session for an iTunes recording at 5 a.m. once, actually, so to have to belt out stuff in, at that hour is ungodly and uh, for the birds, I would say. Anyway, I... I also am not a morning person. Uh, I'm a musician and have been a professional musician for 22 years, so I play in bars and get done at 2 a.m. and go to bed at the crack of dawn most of the time. So um, I don't know. That's always kind of been the way that I was. Even when I was a kid, I felt like I was missing out if I'd go to bed because I thought all the cool stuff happened at night. So, What's your favorite late-night late, like, late snack? Uh, my favorite late-night snack? I love ice cream and cake. I will eat that every day, all day, three meals a day. I love ice cream and cake. But I'm a singer now, so I have to stay away from dairy. It's a little hard. <laughs> you? Man, uh, well, I love fruit, actually, of all kinds. So I pretty much eat quite a bit of that. I'm unhealthy. You juicer? <laughs> a little not juicer. Even a juicer. I just, I just, you know, I like having fruit on hand. It's not so bad for me to eat because otherwise I'd probably love the ice cream and cake, too. So. <laughs> and do you guys sing in the shower? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I sing in the shower, and sometimes it's not good. I know I'm a musician, but, like, sometimes it's just not. <laughs> but you know how to rap? I love singing in the shower. Do you know how to rap? A little bit. Just a little bit. I'm just a smidge good at it. <laughs> Do you know how to rap? No. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. I'm not, I'm not Juicy J or, <laughs> you know. You guys, it's so great tonight. Thank you very much. You know, they were saying, you're the guy that was in high, in high school that was obsessed with rock and roll. We all have friends in high school that have those friends that were obsessed with rock and roll. What would you say to those people out there that are trying to make it and trying to do music and trying to be a rock star? Well, I would say that you know that most music in the last 30 years has sucked, and so that's why I still love Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles and Pink Floyd and all this great music. And the, there is hope for the next generation because people whose parents listen to that stuff that grew up with it are longing for virtuosity in music, and I would love to see that come to the forefront of of pop again i mean you know pop music used to be good motown was pop the beatles were pop back when that happened so remember it hasn't always sucked we love you guys make sure you vote to keep them in the competition thank you so much for stopping by pacific rim bye guys bye.